Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be reviewing Schindler's List, showing some of the irony in that movie, and then moving on to the concept of death and how that is viewed in today's society. Um, so brief overview of the movie, nothing too in-depth, so you can still watch it and enjoy it. Um, so there's this man, Oscar Schindler, and over the movie he becomes more and more empathetic towards the Jews, so he ends up saving thousands of them. Uh, at the end, when World War II is drawing to a close, the Jews decide to thank him for his kindness, and they make a ring, and on that ring they put a verse from the Talmud which says, if you save one life, you save the world. And this verse might be taken out of context, but how it is used in the movie I do not think um, is correct. Um, you see in the very next scene, or at least a scene pretty close to it, uh, they're hanging a German officer for war crimes. So do they actually believe if you save one life, you save the world? Uh, Adolf Hitler, he committed suicide. If he had not died, who knows? Or if he had been more successful, who knows how many more people he could have killed? So in that case, is it if you kill one life, you save the world? Or at least you save um, a lot of life, um, meaningful life? So you move on to Judaism and kind of the Genesis count, um, how people began to view death in those early stages. Um, so people on the plains long ago, uh, they saw people walking around and moving, and then sometimes during the night, this thing would come, and a body would just be laying there. It would no longer be a person. Uh, so they named this death and of course they would be afraid of this maybe they would even say that death was the worst thing ever it was brought into the world by humans disobeying god and so from that you get people who are totally um they just hate any death at all you move on to christians uh the catholic church for a while I don't know if they still are this way or not, but they did not agree with any contraceptives at all because they believed that the continuance of life is the most important value. Well, let me tell you, um, the quantity of human life is not threatened at the moment at all. Uh, there's over 7 billion people in the world. What we need to be focusing on right now is the quality of life and not the quantity of life. Um, you move on. Uh, pacifists. They say, we are not going to fight any wars. We are not going to kill for any reason because life is the greatest objective and war is against life. Now, while I believe it's important to review the causes for war and make sure they are just, um, you cannot be a pacifist and be a moral person under many circumstances. When you see bad people rising up, um, no, it's not necessarily your obligation to fight, but you should have a desire to fight um, if you have your moral straight. Um, if you see somebody like Adolf Hitler rising to the top, um, what are you going to do? Are you going to be uh, herded like sheep into cattle cars brought to concentration camps? Or are you going to stand and are you going to fight this injustice? And sure, if the whole world was pacifistic or whatever, um, it would be a better place. There would be no war, things of that nature. Um, but that's not human nature. And there needs to be guards on human nature. This is another problem with anarchy. Uh, they say... Well, if we had a world with total freedom, total independence, no hierarchy, uh, no control, wouldn't it just be great? Well, maybe if you're basing your decision and your, um, your ideas solely on ideology and not on reality. Uh, because if you look at it from more of a naturalist perspective, even if you look at it from a religious perspective, humans are not perfect. Their innate desires are not for the betterment of society. Some are, some aren't. 
uh, you need to control the bad ones because without that control, uh, they could take over the whole world. And so this is kind of the general, uh, a general theme that I've seen through many movies. Um, they value the, they value life, uh, but they pay no regard to the quality of the life or how that individual life affects those around them. Um, so guys, if you like this content, please like the video and subscribe for more content every week. And I will see you guys next week in the next video.